Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Air Bandit Tarot. We're going to do your general love reading for the week of October 23rd to the 30th. Keep in mind we do love readings every single Wednesday, so tune in for that. Also, I have charged both decks with Organite Pucks and your personalized Zodiac sign card. The way I read is I'm an intuitive reader, so I do two cards. One card will be your main energy, and a second card will be your possible outcome. We do love reads on Wednesday because Wednesday is ruled over by the goddess Venus, and the goddess Venus rules over love, beauty, and um, finances. So if you want to do any rituals or anything pertaining to any one of those things, you want to invoke the energy of the goddess Venus because she will be very helpful in regards to those matters, okay? Also, keep in mind, Scorpio, today is the very beginning of Scorpio season, October 23rd. So, in Western astrology, Scorpio season has officially started today. So, keep that in mind. You guys should be in your power. You guys are definitely in your element, okay? So, we're going to do two cards. One is your main card, your generalized energy. And the second card is a possible outcome, okay? You have the Ace of Swords. Wanted to pop up for your first card. Your possible outcome. We have the Six of Pentacles upright. Okay, Scorpio. Let's do your clarifying cards. Also, um, I want to mention that today would be a good day to work on your heart chakra Wednesday. So, like I said, the goddess Venus is about love. Then we Situations pertaining to the heart, you should bounce your chakras all the time. But if you're not um, adapt to doing that all the time, then today is a very good day to cleanse, clear, and energize, and heal the heart chakra. The goddess Venus will support you in your efforts to do that, okay? So keep that in mind. Also, wearing the color green or using green crystals, jade, and rose quartz. Rose quartz is green, but um, it's a heart chakra crystal. Using those crystals will help raise your vibration also. So keep that in mind, okay? So I have some right here. That's an organite puck. We have, um, what's this? Rose quartz and jade in your organite puck. I made sure I had it available when I was doing all of the readings. Because like I said today, we are doing love energy only. So give me one card to clarify the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're about to confront somebody or speak some truth to somebody, Scorpio. I typically only take cards that pop out unless there's a card that doesn't want to go into the deck. If there's a card that I'm shuffling and doesn't want to go into the deck, intuitively, if I feel like it applies, then I pull that card. Okay, you have one pop up. The Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is clarifying your... I want to flip that too. And then the eight of rise and reverse. Okay. So, Scorpio, you have two communication cards, right? Let's get into it. Your first, and I, and I said intuitively, I'm thinking to myself that I know Scorpios are dealing with somebody. And it's, it's dealing with strong communication and it has to do with feelings. So your initial card, your general energy is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is clear cut communication. There's no questions about it. But if you look at this card behind the scenes, you see these heavy clouds. So even though the Ace of Swords is in its power and very much dominant and, and fierce with communication, you have these clouds in the background. It's something, it's something going on that's making you, this communication can either be inappropriate or not clearly thought through. That's what I'm picking up. And also say that because your clarifying card for your Ace of Swords is the Five of Cups. Look at the background, gray, and then you see some sense of sadness. The Five of Cups upright is about feeling a loss, emotional loss. And that's what I'm thinking is going on with this Ace of Swords. Because Ace of Swords is about thoughts, communication. And I feel like you may have spoke on something. And you may have reacted on something out of emotions. Because Cups is about emotions. And it was a, it was an emotionally based communication between you and a partner, right? And I feel like it may be, because in this particular deck, the six of pentacles upright is about somebody overextending themselves, overgiving. You may have possibly told a partner that you felt like you were giving more than this partner was, right? And you may have expressed to this person that you felt like it, this caused you some type of heartbreak. 
And I feel like in response, this person probably isn't really talking to you about it, okay? Because to clarify your Six of Pentacles, you got the Eight of Wands in reverse. And the Eight of Wands upright is about fast-moving communication, right? In reverse, I feel like this person, whoever you spoke to about your feelings and how you feel about the situation, they have decided to either retreat and not connect with you and communicate. And we can look at it two different ways, right? This person that you communicated these feelings of hurt, and it could be vice versa, either you or this person, your partner, they could have communicated that they felt hurt by something and it, closed, it caused you to shut down. Like I said, the eight of wands is fast moving communication. This communication between you and this person is slowed down. Again, communication. And look how it's cloudy in the background. And, and you may have responded to this person in a brash way, something hurtful. Again, this person is feeling hurt and feeling defeated and feeling like there's a lack of love in this relationship. You may have spoken too quickly and, and it, you know, it didn't go out. It didn't go right with this person. Again, six of pentacles in this particular deck is somebody feeling like they're overextending themselves. So either you told this person, Hey, I feel like I'm always giving more. Or this person told you, I feel like I'm giving more. And when there was communication, it caused some hurt and heartbreak. Because this person felt like, you know, you didn't think or consider their feelings. Or you feel like that person didn't think or consider your feelings. And it's causing you guys not to really communicate. Like I said, the Eight of Wands is fast moving, fast moving communication, action, movement. In reverse, I feel like communication has slowed down between the two of you. Because of whatever it was that this person spoke. Whoever spoke this truth in regards to this feeling. You know, and I know this to be true because like I said, this is about somebody overextending. And this is somebody feeling like defeated. It looks like this person feels defeated. But there's still two cups behind it. That's that's the two of you relationship. Somebody's feeling defeated in regards to this relationship situation, right? Because they feel like they're overextended. Somebody feels like they're overextended. Somebody feels like they're offering more than another person. And when they communicated to this person, they feel like they were cut up. You know, somebody cut up. Somebody really was a little aggressive. Because again, the Ace of Swords, Swords are about communication and thoughts. And Swords, especially in the Ace that's in their power, that's the most powerful energy of the Swords. This person just spoke their mind and probably didn't think too clearly about it. And, you know, left their partner feeling defeated, you know. Somebody left somebody feeling defeated. Somebody left somebody feeling like they didn't care about their feelings. That's what I'm picking up very strongly. And because of that, there's a lack of communication. Now, keep in mind, even though these wands are in reverse, you still have those wands there. So there will be, there is definitely going to be communication, you know, and wands are fire. So it's passion, drive, forward movement. It's going to be communication, but I feel like it's possible that you guys haven't been talking for a couple of days. Okay. So that's your general love read of the day. Scorpio. Until next time, like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Bye.